Hi, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to insert images into text. In my top example I have the word Alaska with one image that goes across all six of the letters. In my bottom example I have separate images in each one of the text blocks. These are vintage postcards, um, so this technique has been around for a very long time and it's probably a useful skill to know. So I have um, my next page where I have set up my, my text. Um, I've already figured out that I'm using impact at 130 points with a tracking of minus 10 and changing the vertical scale to 150% and a horizontal scale of 104% gives me a nice chunky set of text that I can put images in. So. Um, if you're going to use this technique, you really need to uh, make sure that your text is wide enough um, so you can see at least enough of the picture to tell what it is that you're looking at. So, in my first example, I still have editable text. If I click on the letters, I see that each one of these letters is still editable individually, so I'm good with this. So I'm going to go back and take my selection, and the way that I put images into this text is that I have to create outlines out of each of the letters and make them individual frames. And it's very easy to do. You just hold on to your text selection and go up to type, drop down menu, and create outlines. Once you've done that, you have a what's called a, a compound path. And I can go to file and place and select an image that will fit across all of these letters. So I'm going to select this image and it comes in and it's very grainy and the reason for that is that I've placed this image in at its full size inside these letters. So I'm going to right click and go to my fitting options and fill the frame proportionally. And at that point I can see a picture of the lighted bridge from one side of Curacao to the other side of Curacao. Very cool. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, make outlines out of this text on the bottom and then I'm going to release my compound path. That will give me separate frames to put everything in. The problem with that is that I do have some places where I have a path on top of a path. So in that case, um, in these cases, I'm going to select those letters and make sure that both paths are selected and I'm going to go to object and Pathfinder and exclude my overlapping piece. And I'm going to do this for the other two letters. And there we go. Okay, so now I should be able to select all of these um, frames because that's what they are. They're frames that look like letters. And I'm going to File and Place new pictures into those. So I'm just going to, at this point, select the pictures that I want. And that looks good. So I've got five, six, seven. All right, so I'm going to open these up and I'm going to put these images down in separate letters. And I'm not really caring exactly which picture goes into which letter um, because I'm only going to see a little bit of the picture anyway. So at this point I can see even less of the picture because just as in the top example uh, these images all need to be selected and right clicked and fitted with um, the image filling the frame proportionally. So once I do that then I can see that each one of these letters um, has an image in it. And I could zoom in a little bit and select the image and adjust it even um, more. Um, for example, I can move this over to the right a little bit so I can see that that red center part of the cactus. So, But that looks good. Um, I just want to remind you that you can also on these, these letters, because they are frames, I could add a stroke to this and I'm going to go with my swatches panel and pick out a stroke. I'm going to take this little light peach color and increase the size of my stroke. And, um, and when I have uh, 
a, a stroke applied or even without the stroke applied, I can also add effects to these things because um, this is an object and the effects menu um, can be applied to any object. I'm going to go to transparency to apply the effect to the stroke and I think on the stroke I would like a bevel and emboss and that looks pretty good and I'm going to look and see oh I actually like that better so I have a um, emboss that's smooth and the direction is up and I think I'll just agree to all of those settings so this is an example of putting a separate image in each one of these frames that you created out of text